All right, here I am. This is a 2015 Nissan Rogue. And I'm about to do the first ever transmission fluid change on this car. It has 136,000 miles on it. Never been changed. It does have a few issues with the CVT. We've been, you know, four years ago the issue started. Just a little bit of slipping. Only when you've been driving it for a long time on the highway or on a really hot day when you're coming from a dead stop, a little bit of slipping, juddering happening. Um, it started four years ago. It hasn't gotten worse. I guess as an experiment, people say don't do this. I'm deciding to change the fluid, do a drain and fill. I'm going to do two drain and fills today and see what happens. Um, it's It's been good the last four years. It hasn't gotten any worse. So this is a great experiment. Let's do it and we'll see how she drives afterwards. All right, before we really get started doing the actual drain and fill, I just want to say that you need to proceed at your own risk. Do your research. This should not be the only video you watch on how to do this. This isn't even a how-to video. This is really more about do, showing you that I did the transmission fluid change and then sharing the results of what happened afterwards. So if you're going to do this, please get a hold of your factory service manual for your year and model. And even better than that, watch the BC Built video on YouTube. I'll link to it in the description. He does this on an Altima, and it's very similar. It's the exact, really the exact same procedure, and he does it exactly by the book. So watch that video, and with that, let's get right to it. Start the car. I'm gonna go through all the gears. All right, we're in park, and we're gonna go into reverse. One, two, three, four, five. Neutral. One, two, three, four, five. This car needs to be clean drive and back to park all right I'm gonna let off the brake now I'm going to uh, check the temperature of the pan on your knee already at 109 I'm gonna let it go a little longer in here again start the car go through the gears again all right I'll leave it running check the temperature bring it down here with me this time oh, I didn't do that earlier see those light coming please We're at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna let it run for a little bit, let it heat up. Let's check the level. Let's torque this. This is the moment of truth. Is this thing gonna slip? Or is it gonna drive right? I'm on, got the car lifted down. Kind of nervous. Let's see what happens. That feels great so far. That's good sign that it didn't just slip. Uh, giving it minimal amount of RPM here. All right, I'm gonna stop here, dead stop. Give it some gas. It feels 
feels great. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it feels better than it's ever felt. But it's probably psychological. Um, I don't think... I mean, that fluid was old and crappy, but... I don't think it's going to make the transmission feel smoother. But the car is driving, so that's a win already. And uh, when I take it on the highway, I will be sure to record that. All right, let's look at some fluid here. Um, this is the, on the left, you have a sample of the fluid from the first drain of the transmission. And on the right, you have the second drain. So it's definitely a little bit lighter, that fluid on the right. Obviously, what's in the transmission now is even lighter than that because I did that fill after that again. So um, that's kind of the change we're making here. Not a huge change. Um, I also did the transfer case and the rear differentials, which you see here. Transfer case fluid that I drained out on the left, rear differential fluid in the middle. And then the replacement fluid, this uh, Valvoline Full Synthetic 75 weight dash 90 gear oil on the right. So um, big change there, definitely uh, between what that old fluid was and what I replaced it with. All right, I'm driving the Rogue around. It's been two days. I did the transmission drain and fill two days ago on Friday. It's Sunday. I've driven this car a few times since I did it and it is not doing any of the slipping that I found. But this is the first time I'm taking it up to like 60 degrees. I'm just gonna give it some gas right now. I mean, it feels great. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. I'm at 55 right now, and I'm giving it gas at 55, 60, and it just feels super smooth. I couldn't be happier with it, but I haven't really proven anything yet because one, the slipping problem was happening when it was typically hotter out or on a really long drive, like an hour or longer drive. Uh, it's just all theories and guessing really. And it's like, if the transmission fluid flush or drain and fill is working, I mean, I'm going up a hill right now, I'm giving it some gas, about 60. I never drive, I never hit the accelerator this hard in this car and it's super smooth. Um, if it worked, I, mean, I only did two drain and fills. I did two drains and two fills, which people say gets about 50% of the fluid out. You know, you're placing about 50% of the fluid. So it's like, I still got 50% of that old fluid, you know, but did that 50% of new fluid just bring the properties up of the fluid overall to a point where it's eliminating the issues that we were having? I don't know. Uh, it's just hard to say. The test will kind of be over the next six months. But then again, it's like this transmission's been having problems for four years. <laughs> so if the transmission were to die in the next six months or get worse, it, I wouldn't, it, I mean, I wouldn't be able to say, oh, it was the drain and fill that I did. You know, I, I'd be s skeptical. I would think, oh, maybe that had something to do with it, but I wouldn't be able to say for sure because the transmission's been having problems for four years. I mean, it's, it will not be a surprise if it were to die at any point. Thanks for watching. Not recommending anybody do this to their car if you're having transmission problems with a CVT, Nissan CVT, but all I can say is it worked for me so far.